The Bogs of Ireland. Slices of trees from these bogs contain a record of climate stretching back over 7,000 years. Each year, the trees put on a ring of growth. During the good years, those growth rings are thick. In bad years, so small they can be hard to measure. When Mike Bailey measured the tree rings in one particular sample, something made him sit up and take notice. This is a piece of Irish oak. It grew for about 300 years and then was buried in a peat bog and has survived to the present time. It was actually growing about three and a half thousand years ago. Now my interest in this is that when you uh, look at the exactly dated rings across this period, we find that the tree has been growing quite well up until 1628 BC, which is this ring, and 1627 there's no summer growth nor in 1626 nor for about 10 years thereafter and these are the narrowest rings in the entire life of this tree and clearly it's the, the worst growth conditions that this tree had seen in its lifetime. The trees can't tell us exactly what happened but the logic is that they were probably responding to um, increased coldness or increased wetness or possibly both. And the thing about wetness on a peat bog is that if you raise the amount of water in the peat, raise the water table, you're likely to cover up the roots of the trees and, and affect them in that way. So I certainly became interested in whether this environmental downturn, probably involving cold and wet, was due to the eruption of Thera. Absolute proof that the Irish oak trees were stunted by the eruption of Thera has just been reported from one of the most desolate parts of the world. The ice sheets of Greenland have built up over thousands of years from annual layers of snow. As the snow falls, anything lingering in the atmosphere is swept up and locked into the ice. Sulphur from volcanic eruptions is trapped as sulfuric acid. The snow that fell three and a half thousand years ago is now over 700 meters deep. When Danish scientists tested the ice at that level, they found a layer of sulfuric acid. Embedded in that acid layer were tiny shards of volcanic ash. The shards have just been chemically fingerprinted. The unpublished results have convinced the scientists that the ash came from Thera. I mean, it's fantastic news because um, it, what it gives us is the final link in the chain. What you've got is Thera linked to the acid in Greenland. The acid in Greenland is occurring at exactly the same time as this reduced growth in the Irish trees. So what you're seeing here are the direct environmental consequences of the eruption of Thera. And that, that is fantastic 